Welcome to this introductory video for the MassCom 445 Tourism Marketing and Promotions class. In this video we'll be talking about the definitions of marketing and marketing concepts and differentiating between the traditional four P's approach to marketing and comparing that to hospitality marketing mix. Let's begin by defining marketing. Marketing is defined in your text as encompassing the merging integrating and controlling supervision of all the companies or organizations efforts that have a bearing on sales. The focus then is on anything that the organization does that would promote the sales of their products and in nonprofit organizations it may be achieving their mission as opposed to selling a product. Um, in other organizations the focus will be on promoting service sales. The other important definition to begin is the definition related to the marketing concept. Uh, this is an important concept that will be carried out throughout the entire semester. And the idea behind this is that it's a, it's a philosophy that focuses on the consumer. It's a consumer-oriented philosophy that focuses all of your available resources on satisfying the needs and wants of the consumer, thereby resulting in profits. And the idea behind it is if you can satisfy those needs and wants, for goods or services, then the in individual consumers will come to your organization and thus making it a very profitable enterprise. In this movie clip, Joe Dirt explains the marketing concept and the consumer-oriented philosophy. We've got to figure out a way to sell more fireworks. I'm going broke with this venture also. Well, I see you got them snakes and sparklers, but. Where's good stuff, man? Good stuff. This is the good stuff. Snakes and sparklers. So you're gonna tell me that you don't have no black cats, no Roman candles, or screaming memes? No. Oh, come on, man. You don't got no lady fingers, buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doo dahs, or crap flappers? No, I don't. You're gonna stand there owning a fireworks stand and tell me you don't have no whistling bungholes? No spleen splitters, whisker biscuits, honky lighters, hoosker doos, hoosker don'ts, cherry bombs, nips of dazers, with or without the scooter stick, or one single whistling kitty chaser? No. Because snakes and sparklers are the only ones I like. Well, that might be your problem. It's not what you like. It's the consumer. The traditional model of marketing called the 4Ps model is based on the idea of selling a product or a good to a particular target market or to a particular area. And this particular model focuses on the 4Ps of product, price, place, and promotion. Here is the depiction of the model as shown in your text. It's not a particularly good one, but it does demonstrate that external factors have an impact on those four areas which then impact on the target market that you're trying to reach. Others have produced better models to demonstrate the four P's. Here are a couple of them. You'll notice in the first one all of the different elements are defined a little bit and then in the second one there is a list of different variables that are associated with product, price, place, and promotion. In the following video by Paxton and Patterson, they describe the four P's of the marketing mix in greater detail and then also apply that to how each of those might be impacted by burger sales and how the targeted market can influence changes to the four P's. The Marketing Mix it's a combination of the four P's, product, price, promotion, and place. When we talk about product, we mean things like the quality of the product, the design, the packaging it's sold in, and the brand. Price not only refers to the retail price, but also any discounts. Do you accept payment plans? Are there any specific credit terms if the customer has to borrow money to buy your product? Promotion deals with any advertising. 
personal selling? Are there salespeople, public relations, emails, anything that gets the word out? Place. Do you have a retail location or a storefront? Do you deliver? Can the product be downloaded? Basically, all distribution methods. Let's say you want to sell hamburgers. Great, but first you need to know your target market. Who are you going to sell hamburgers to? Well, hello there. Your target market will affect your four Ps. In this case, you'll want a very high-end hamburger. Consider a product that features truffles, which are super expensive stinky mushrooms. Oh, that sounds delightful. You're going to have to charge a lot because your cost will be high. $25. A good promotion might be an advertisement in Fancy Pants Magazine. And a perfect place to sell the hamburger would be at the Polo Club. Okay, but what if we have a different target market? What about this guy? Peace, man. This marketing mix won't work for him. Consider a vegetarian burger. You won't be able to charge much. You may even have to loan him money. Thanks, dude. Including good karma fries will encourage him to spread the word. And selling them in a public park would be a good idea. Okay, but what about this target market? Arr. Again, we should adapt the marketing mix. He spends a lot of time at sea, so waterproof packaging would be a good idea. He doesn't have any cash, but has plenty of goats on board. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free Viking helmet? Ooh. And you'll need to deliver. So there you have it. The four P's make up the marketing mix. Product, price, promotion, and place. Thus far, we've been focusing on the four P's of the marketing concept, the marketing process, but instead we're going to f uh, switch now to the hospitality marketing mix, which more closely aligns with how the marketing is done for the hospitality tourism industry. There are five elements of this particular mix. The first, important, first and most important is the product service mix. And the idea here is that what we're often providing in the hospitality marketing area is something that's a combination of both a physical, tangible product and service, as well as all the intangible elements that go along with that. The presentation mix has something to do with the idea of taking these intangible elements, things like the atmosphere of a restaurant or the service of staff in a hotel, and make that part of how we present our service product mix to um, the clients as they come in. We'll be talking a little bit more about services later and why they're important from product marketing and why they're so critical to the hospitality industry. Thus far, we've discussed two of the mixes of the hospitality marketing mix, the product service mix and the presentation mix. The other three include the communications mix, which has most of the traditional advertising, public relations, and promotions activities that you would see in the 4Ps model that we discussed earlier. It also includes much more of a focus on two-way and interactive communications. We're more interested in finding out what consumers think about our product and what they would like to have and what kind of services they would like to receive and less interested in one-way communications encouraging them to buy something. The fourth element of the hospitality marketing mix is the pricing mix, which is the traditional pricing element of the four P's. It includes the price point. It also includes things like discounts, payment plans, and so forth. But it includes one important element, which is the perception of value. Because we're dealing with a product service mix that is affected by things like atmosphere and service components, it's the perceived value of what you're receiving the brand, the service, and so forth that can be so critical in the pricing mix. And then finally is the distribution mix. The distribution mix includes traditional channels such as physical locations, brick and mortar stores, but it also includes a newer e-commerce developments to it. And also included here is new distribution challenges where you bring services to individuals. Uh, think about the impact of Grubhub where we no longer have to go to a restaurant to receive restaurant food. 
There's also a movement to see a lot more in-home spa services, uh, such as massages and so forth. All of these things are changing the mechanism with which we distribute things through the hospitality indi industry. This concludes the video presentation uh, in which we have discussed the elements of the definitions of marketing and marketing concept, the four P's model of marketing, as well as the hospitality marketing mix. In the next video, you'll see a discussion of the service industry and trends that are affecting the hospitality industry.